buddy. There you go. They are Fraser Valley Cascades on the surface, but at their core, Reese Wilson and Max Paddock have a special bond with the Brandon Bobcats. This place is uh, pretty special to me. I obviously grew up playing in this gym and watching the BU athletes. Deep down, I'm always going to be a Bobcat too. Wilson and Paddock formed a lifelong friendship when Brandon University men's volleyball came to be in 2005. It's hard to imagine what, what life would look like, you know, without Grant and, and my dad coaching together and, you know, me and Reese spending hours and hours in the gym and, you know, at each other's houses. Let's go guys, three man. Their dads, Russ Paddock and Grant Wilson, coached and built the program together from the ground up. Their sons were also there from square one. First week of practice that we had, uh, these two kids walk in that could, you know, they were even touching the bottom of the net and we're like, well, who are these guys? And so I was like, well, that's Russ and Grant's kids and they're out there playing and they didn't skip a beat, they just went and grabbed a ball, jumped out on the court and they started playing pepper with each other. I don't think anyone ever really envisioned that uh, I'd get to the point where they'd be bona fide youth sport volleyball players. Reese and Max were provincial high school volleyball champions with the Neal and Spartans in 2016. Both would go their separate ways before reuniting as teammates on the West Coast. Behind the net, Cody McDonald battling with Puteau in front. Kelly jams at it. Bad save made by Paddock. Paddock excelled on the ice, which included a Western Hockey League career and appearing in the 2018 Memorial Cup Final with the Regina Pats. He put his goaltending gear aside to return to the court, a place his father once flourished. Number nine is Russell Paddock. Russ was a standout student athlete with the Manitoba Bisons and represented Canada at the 1992 Olympics. He's the current athletic director at Brandon University. He's certainly somebody I looked up to, you know, whether it's coaching or looking back on old, old videos of him playing with the national team. So, you know, I'm just trying to do the best that I can out there, really. Reese stayed the course with volleyball. He played in the college ranks in British Columbia before joining the Cascades as they made the jump to Canada West. In the 2022-23 season, he'll be serving as one of the team captains. He's going to fight for every point, and it doesn't matter what point, if it's the last point of the game or the first point of the game, he's going to play it with a lot of passion and emotion, and great to see him flourish and be in a leadership role as well. His dad, Grant, has continued to lead the Bobcats, guiding BU to a conference title and a national silver medal in 2019, while being named the country's top coach. What are some of the same qualities that you two possess? Like, what's what's kind of a mirror image of that you guys have? I think the competitiveness, the that part for sure. Reese and Max are side by side again and back home where it all started. They're competitive by nature and their allegiance won't waver. certainly remember the moments. At that time I didn't you know appreciate it for what it is. You know I didn't realize how hard of a journey it was to get there. You know BU has always just been a strong program where they've always kind of been in that mix, in that championship mix. So now as I'm older, I realize how hard it is to get to the Nationals and, you know, to be successful in the league. Good job. Two.